Um, my name is Libby Archer and I'm president of the Shire Horse Society for two years. I took over the reins in May 2010, so I'm coming up to the end of my first year uh, as president and this is my first show as president. The Society is a, a great institution that's doing very important work to promote and to preserve the Shire Horse breed. And summing up the Shire Horse itself is easy. One word springs to mind, and that's magnificence. These animals are magnificent creatures. To see them shining in the sun, to see them pulling vehicles, you look at their majesty, their power and their grace. But also, they have a fantastic temperament. Shire Horses are our nation's gentle giant. See there, holding the reins at the end, they have a leather boot lace. You see, ties the buckle, the keeper on the buckle, and then they wrap it around their little finger a couple of times. So if they have to drop the rein, they don't lose it completely. But interesting indeed. John Goodwin.
one commentator can't really keep up with all the action that's going on. So one acts as really MC and, and commentator through the various classes and displays that are here. Uh, I think I've been coming here 22 years now as a commentator, um, which is scary. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, a lot of the people are the same. You always feel welcome. A lot of them are country folk who, in general, are really loyal, lovely people. For all the reasons, I need to go and find a lot of the expertise to get the detail behind some of the stories here. So I've always got to go and talk to them and meet them and expect all of that to, to come from them. And they're always very forthcoming and, and um, just lovely people. And I think um, that, for me, is one of the great characteristics of the, of the Shire world. Um, good feet good bone quality, um, good width of heart, uh, and, and having the all-important power together as well. Because when you think that it's no longer a workhorse, um, yet there is as much, if not more, interest now, I think it is this situation of actually looking to some of our history and heritage. And as a result, it seems to me that the heavy horse is as popular now as it's been for a long time since it wasn't a the import all important working animal if you understand what I say. Thank you.